That's pretty. If, you, if I was going to ask you guys to evaluate this, um, obviously 75 degrees does not correlate to a, a coordinate point that we've used on the unit circle so far, correct? Does not work, right? So um, using the unit circle to evaluate for cosine 75 degrees is not going to do us, not going to help us out much. So the next thing we could do is use our calculator, right? But a problem with the calculator is if you guys type in cosine 75 degrees in your calculator, you're going to get a decimal. It's going to be an approximation, right? So if the question asks, what is the approximation, that's perfectly fine. Round it to whatever they ask you to do, hundredth, uh, hundredth, you know, tenth, whatever, thousandth. However, if we're asking for the exact value of cosine of 75 degrees, we're going to need to apply the formula. Now, what's difficult about this is you guys saw like the u and the v and all that kind of stuff, right? u and v represent two different angles. So what we want to do is say, can we rewrite the cosine of 75 degrees as the sum or difference of two angles that we are familiar with as far as their values are in the unit circle. Well, guys, there's a lot of angles here. 0, pi over 6. Pi, um, well, actually, we're doing degrees, right? So we have 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. Every, uh, that's all the angles in the first quadrant, correct? Can we rewrite 75 degrees as a sum or difference of two of those angles? 30 and 45. 30 and 45. So um, what you're going to do is a lot of times they'll be provided for you. So I'm not really concerned about you guys finding what those two angles are. But does that, does that make sense? That's the same thing. So guess what? Once we do that, we label 1u and 1v. Here, let me actually write this mathematically correct. That's equal to the cosine of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. Does it matter which one you Nope. It does not matter. Now, it's diff when you're doing subtraction, that's a little bit different because you got to have them in, but you, you, you want to have u minus v in that form. So anyways, now we need to go through our formula. So cosine of u plus v, if I remember it correctly, it's cosine of u, sine of u minus, no, cosine of u, cosine of v, minus sine of u, sine of v, OK, equals cosine of u times cosine of v minus sine of u times sine of v. Right? So now, all you're going to do is just plug in the formula. Use the values that you have. So we have. The cosine of u is 30 degrees times the cosine of v is 45 degrees minus the sine of u, which is 30 degrees, times the sine of v, which is 45 degrees. Now do you guys see how we have to evaluate 1, 2, 3, 4? Kind of like four problems on your guys' test, right? Really, it's the same thing. That's what I'm asking you guys to do. But you guys need to be able to do this without spending 20 minutes sketching the angle, finding where it is on the unit circle, and so forth. You guys should know cosine of 30 degrees. Um, let's go and get through this. So therefore, this is going to become the square root of 3 over 2. And these are all in the fourth quadrant, so these are obviously easier than what was on your quiz. Square root of 2 over 2 minus um, sine is 1 half times square root of 2 over Does everybody agree with me on this? OK. Do you understand how I broke up 75 degrees to 30 and 45? Do you agree with me that formula was provided to you? I gave you that formula. That's what I told you to write down. Cosine of u plus v. All right, well, this is the whole formula I wrote down, so you want to make sure you have the whole thing written down. And then all I did was, wherever there was a u, I replaced that with 30 degrees. Wherever there's a u, I replaced that with 30 degrees. Now, the cosine of 30 degrees, remember, is the x coordinate of the coordinate point where the angle 30 degrees crosses the unit circle. So if you look on your unit circle, 30 degrees, the cosine is the x coordinate, which is square root of 3 over 2. If you look on your unit circle, cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Cosine of 45 degrees, so forth. Now we just need to do our math to simplify. So therefore, we have square root of 6 over 4 minus the square root of 2 over 4. Okay, That is one answer. 
that's perfectly fine. However, they might ask you to simplify this even further. So I'm not sure even how the book writes it um, out there. Actually, let me look what the book writes it. No, they leave it like that. OK. But just some books or some answers on your end of the year test, I'm not sure, they might also have you factor out common terms. Is there a radical that you can divide evenly to just square root of 6 and square root of 2? Square root of 2. So you could factor out the square root of 2 and 4. And that would leave you with the square root of 3 minus 1. Just know that is another simplified way. The book has this as their answer. So I'll be OK with you guys if you want to leave your answer like this. However, just note, you might have a test where the answers lo all look like this. Just understand how they went from there to there just by factoring. OK? Yes? Any questions with that?